right guys, we're in the harbor here in Fort Mansfield, Texas. I'm waiting for Jaime to get here. He's taking his boat out. So we're going solo 1-1 one, 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 and uh, cover some more water that way. We've got weather all around us. Um, it was clear a minute ago. Um, Port Mansfield is really interesting. It's a lot like Port O'Connor. Uh, the destination is really geared towards one thing and one thing only, and that is fishing. Since they dredged this place out, especially at the Y, right outside the uh, right outside the harbor, at the exit to the entrance at the exit to the harbor, and they dredged the um, channel at the jetties, which is the land cut. Fishing has gotten even better. Fish have gotten bigger because bigger fish are coming in through that newly dredged area. We're not going that far out. We're just gonna go towards the jetties, the land cut, and then probably turn out and see what we can do. Port Mansfield. Second cast. Flounder. <laughs> Poor guy. What were you thinking? Little flounder rounder. Oh, come here. Come here. I see you. I know. I know. Oh, you're a sweet thing. Yes, you are. All right, guys. Flatty. We got you, Flatty, right here. Look at there. Ah, flatty, Flatty. Unfortunately, since I'm leaving soon, I'm not going to keep any fish, but there is a sweet looking flounder right there. And that guy's long enough to keep. Goodbye. All right, guys. So, what we did is we disembarked me myself and i from the boat walking on some uh, shell here i'm seeing lots of tails we're in a cut between two of these uh, landfills and there's a bunch of sheep's head in here actually but i caught one flounder as you saw and now i'm just gonna walk and weigh this out nice tail all right guys as you can see, I'm chasing some fish right here, and they are not cooperating. But what you try to do is get in front of them, because that's what I did uh, recently with redfish down there, and got in front of a, a V of them. But mm. these are probably sheep's head much more. See how they scatter so fast? So that's probably sheep's head running off of there. They were on the shell. And now look at this spot right here. I want to point out this habitat. This is what's called a gut, and it's right up against the mangroves, and that is much deeper right there. I'd say it goes down to four feet. So you'll see boats come in on that. There's no shell down in there. It's all, it's all mud. But hit it both ways, guys, because this is a great spot where fish move without being seen, because it's the, look at how shallow it is elsewhere. So they drop down in there and move along there, and there, I guarantee you there's fish in there. I just didn't have the right fly or whatever. It just wasn't there for me. But 
that is what you want to do. Go both ways on this. Look at that. Oh, not a great cast, but whatever. And hit these hit these guts anywhere you see something like that. Anything can be happening. Bait can be coming out of the mangroves, and, and there can be some redfish waiting there to, to ambush, or they can just be moving back and forth between the uh, flats and out into the channel there. All right, so guys, keep that here's the lay of the land out here. The town of Port Mansfield and Port Mansfield, back that away, that away. And we are in a cut between two land, what it is is old spoil banks. And these are two spoil banks and lots and lots of shell in here. So what you'd want to do, what you want to do is have a super light fly. And there are certain times of the year, I bet they'll even bite on top of water. What I'm seeing right now is a ton of sheep's head, which drive me totally nuts. But I um, have not caught one yet. All right, we're going to keep foraging and foresting here and, uh, and uh, see what happens. <laughs> foresting. <laughs> <laughs> prospecting all right guys boat traffic's getting to be too much out in the open side of the channel there so i'm gonna go around the back side been here before love this walk right here oh guys changed a lot since the last time i was here really a lot more shell and where there's not shell it's a lot stickier so this is not for the weak at heart but uh, we, haven't, we haven't varied off much from where we were. We're just going to make the best out of this as it is. And I'm going to take a long walk in some shallow water. All right, guys. So if you're wondering why we got off and walked, it's very normal to do that outside the channel because it's so, su so super shallow that you can't get in here with a boat. But, um, and I think the fish retreated off. I mean, there's just so much pressure up there on the channel now. Uh, it didn't look to me like, I mean, this is a prairie ocean. If you want to see a prairie ocean, this is it. <laughs> That's my definition of a beautiful prairie ocean. All right, guys, uh, we're wrapping it up pretty quick, I imagine, here at Port Mansfield. We are in the channel that leads from Port Mansfield out to the cut, which is the cut in uh, the island, South Padre Island. And uh, I can't get out of the wind, so I'm having a lot of trouble here um, now with the wind. And uh, man, we pulled up, there was fish galore. I mean, it was crazy. And uh, since then, it seems like there's so much pressure, noise, a lot of noise from the other boats that uh, if we'd have been here an hour earlier, or even a half hour earlier, we would have scored some redfish. I caught a flounder, um, but otherwise it is uh, kind of challenging. <laughs> but that said, Port Mansfield is absolutely the best place to come. Uh, in the last month the month of april 2023 i've seen more fish here today um it just tops everything else that uh, that i've shown you and uh it's always been that way and uh, i think it always will be i'm gonna run this shore where the sand dunes are man we're real close to the jetties now um sand dunes isn't that cool yeah let me show them to you right there pretty awesome huh that is awesome scenery. All right, let's see what happens and then we'll run in. Well guys, it's been a real pleasure. And this is it from Fish Camp South. This is the end, my friends, the bitter end. <laughs> no, that's sweet to go back to North Texas and get in on carp season. This is the end of April, 2023. The fishing's turning on as I'm leaving. Isn't that the way it goes? Anyway. Thanks for watching. We're leaving Mansfield now. Uh, and be sure you read the description and go to www.texasflycaster.com because there will be a story that has fills in a lot more of the blanks about what happened here today. This is awesome, man. And, you know, so one fish, so what? It's still the most fish I've seen. It's just a question of being ready for them. And these guys are highly aware of people. So that those are the two problems, really. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at Fish Camp North in a couple of weeks. <laughs> going home. Going that way. Well, going that way. Going that way and then going that way.